Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Continuing on the Habit of Allah In our hadith course We reach the seventh hadith Which refers to When a person What to do when a person has a bad dream What to do when you have a bad dream Because often uh, we either have good or bad dreams and bad dreams can be caused by many things it can be caused by something you're watching if you're on the internet or people who have television or what have you you see certain things you're watching movies whatever the case may be can cause you to have uh, bad dreams likewise they even say some uh, sometimes per perhaps from the food we eat and so forth so there's various reasons or stress or different things we have uh, in our life can affect us and have uh, to cause us to have different kind of dreams, good or bad dreams. So here's what we should do from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam if we were to have a bad dream. An Abi Qatada radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ru'ya saliha min Allah wa hulmu min shaitan fida halama ahadukum hulman يُخَافُهُ فَالْيُبْسَقْ عَنْ يَسَارِهِ وَالْيَتَعُوذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شَرِّهَا فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَدُرُّهُ رُوَهُ بُخَارِ In this hadith in Sahih Bukhari, it is reported on the authority of Abu Qatada رضي الله تعالى عنه that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said <coughs> a good dream is from Allah and a bad dream is from Shaitan so if any one of you has a bad dream which makes him afraid he should spit on his left side like this uh, and he should seek refuge with Allah from its evil for then it will not harm him Ruahu Bukhari Allah's Messenger وسلم, in this hadith informs us uh, that good dreams are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that bad dreams are from the shaitan. Uh, so when we have such a dream, we have a sunnah to follow. That when we're afraid that it may happen, that it could be something that's a real... Because some dreams are based in reality. Some dreams are really far-fetched and really out of reality. Uh, if we're afraid that it may happen, we should spit lightly over the left shoulder... Uh, and say, "A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim which means I seek refuge with Allah from the accursed shaitan. After this, the evil of it will not harm us, because that's the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and who, uh, and he gave us al khabr sadiq. You know, he gave us truthful uh, speech. Some of the benefits of this hadith." Uh, one of the benefits is that good dreams are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, subhanahu. Uh, another benefit that we learn from this hadith, the evil, that evil dreams are from the shaitan. Uh, also, the virtue of seeking refuge with Allah from the evil of the shaitan. So we should always seek refuge in Allah from the shaitan. Um, and that's why we do that when reading the Quran, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, so we should often uh, our tongue should be moist with seeking refuge in Allah from the Shaitan. Uh, also, if one seeks refuge in Allah, one will be safe from the Shaitan. So this shows us this Hadith gives us safety and gives us security and comfort when our iman is strong, believing in what was revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and practicing it. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.